What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd have a little go at building my favourite hot, hot hatch of the 90s. Um, let's get straight on into this and we'll go over to cars. I mean, big thank you to Turn 10. I mean, I've had a little look at my messages today. We got gifted the four for Forza Edition cars and also they, they handed me a million pounds. I'm not going to moan at that. Right, so we need to get into the buy car. See, look, I've got one and a half million credits now. Thank you very much, Turn 10. Right, I'm going to head straight on over to it, I believe. I have seen it when we were doing the Drivers' Cup. I haven't actually even driven it yet, but we'll get straight on into it and we'll, we'll tune it up a little bit. I don't think I want to drive at standard. Where are we? Here we go, guys. So, my favourite car of the 90s and the hot hatchbacks. It's Renault Clio Williams. I actually owned the Clio 16 Valva, which was exactly the same shape, it just didn't have the gold wheels. It had the wider arches, because on the Williams and the 16 Valva 1.8, had the plastic front wings. And they were slightly wider on the front, and the rear arches were slightly wider as well. I absolutely loved the car. It was a bit of a chaff car, though. Bear in mind, this was what? Oh least what 10 years ago now I owned it but let's get on into it and buy it I think we're gonna leave it as a standard color for the second let's just go with a standard color that's not too bad 52,000 no I don't I want to buy it with the stock parts fitted all right let's save that I mean, I love mine. My mine had chrome alloys, it had the big body kit, it was your typical 2000s max power car that looked like it rolled into Halfords. Um, I'll see if I can dig a picture out and I'll, I'll drop it in the video. Right, so now we need to get to tuning and upgrades, see what we can actually uh, get out of this upgrade shop. So as what are we standard brake horsepower, is it not going to show us? There we go, so stock, we are... 142 horsepower. We've got a restriction of 200. Well, I don't care about restrictions at the moment. This is literally just purely for my, my entertainment. Right. I really am a bit disappointed because uh, obviously in Forza Horizon 3 we had the basket, which made things. Oh, I think made things a lot easier than doing it this way, where we have to buy each individual item. That's, uh, See, that's just, a, that's just an absolute draw. Right. We'd be nearly done by now in Horizon 3 and then, then click and purchase car. We got the exhaust. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I did put the exhaust on. Or we got the valves. So what are we up to already? 291 brake. I can't remember what my valve was as standard. Uh, I don't know. But I mean, it had twin exit exhaust out of the middle. <laughs> I think they were four inch, yeah, four inch exhausts. Absolutely, absolutely, tremendously loud is the way I could say it. Trust me, my neighbours weren't happy with me. But if I could own one now, I certainly wouldn't go the whole body kit route. I'd keep it nice and clean and simple like this. I probably would. No, the wheels are what make it the Williams, so I'd probably probably leave them as standard. I mean, they also done the Williams one, two, and three. This being the '93, this might be the Williams two. Obviously, there weren't really much changes between the one, two, and three. I think it was interior and whatnot, but don't quote me on that. We've got to put a cage in it. We've got to have a cage. Yes. Looks a bit meaner now. It's been dropped. To make that weight reduction so what are we up to 348 brake horsepower and a front wheel drive car this should be quite fun i'm guessing the only engine swap for it would be the rally engine not that i see much point in the rally engine on this game there's no rally stages or anything so i mean we have the rally cars and there's, there's no no actual rally stages or anything i mean project cars too at least they included the rally cross we will go for the race tyre compound or just the sports? Ah, screw it, we'll put the race tyres on. Ten grand for a set of tyres? 
Gotta make them wider, we want that extra grip, don't we? Gotta get that extra grip. There we go. I think I should have driven this really in stock form. We can't make the wheels can't make the wheels bigger because I want to keep them stuck. Uh, don't really know what sort of selection we've got. We used to like the rovers on the Horizon 3 a lot. Let's see if we've got them. I think that would suit this. Come on, where are you? Used to always be in the first selection of wheels. I don't know if they will be in this one. I haven't really had a look over the wheels too much. Ooh, could keep them gold. Nah, that just, just doesn't look right. What we've got there, the speed lines? Do we go for the speed lines? No. Ooh, nope. Nope, nope. Ah, here we go. Uh, yeah, the T37s. Yeah, they look quite nice in the black. I like that. I don't want to make the wheels too big, but I'd like to have a bit more size. What we got? So we can go up to a 16, 17, or the 18. Nah, uh, for track use, we're going we're gonna to go for the 16s. We are. Let's go for the 16s there. We'll bang on the 16s on the rear. And that's pretty much it. I'm not. Well. Oh, hang on. Uh, see, why, why, why do that? That's just ugly. What? Why do we want a big gay wing? We don't want the big gay wing. We could take the spoiler off, the standard little spoiler, but I like that. Skirts, mud guys. Just don't even look right. Stupid. Bonnet. It's not even a bonnet, is it? What's the Oh, roof scoop. No, 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 no. We want to keep it clean. A clean looking Cleo. Just out of curiosity. Oh no, two. We can use the 2 litre i4 VVT. Or we could have, yeah, see the rally engine. We don't need the rally engine. I want to keep a stock engine, but fully upgraded. Aspiration convert. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, we got to put a turbo on. Yes, what are we up to now? 375 horsepower. Now, I'm sure there'll be a turbo upgrade in here. Let's have a little look, see. There we go. Bringing it up to 424 horsepower. Yes. This thing should be quite interesting. Not going to play about with the two. Oh, hang on. In the cooler. We didn't have a turbo before, did we? And we have them now. No. Nope. There we go. Race in the cooler. 440. And then all of a sudden, the oil and coolant. And that will bring us up to four. Still 440. Oh, hang on. We crashed. What's happened there? Turn 10, you've let me down. Right guys, I've restarted the game. I don't know what happened there, but it just crashed on me. It closed the game. Um, I don't know how far we got. I mean, we were doing oil and cooling. Let's just quickly check that was done, or did it not? Uh, obviously, Turn 10 said that they've released a statement earlier saying that they've fixed most of the issues in yesterday's updates. No, we've got it on. Yeah, we've got it on. That's it. No, so we should be good to go. But yeah, they said they'd fix most of the issues. Well, hopefully. I mean, that's that's the first issue I've had in the game. And obviously, I play on PC. So, well, really don't know. Hopefully, turn 10 sort it out. Right, let's get straight on into free play. And let's have a little bash around in the Clio. Yeah, let's do the test track. Three laps. Is that is that on three laps? Or is that on... Race set up, race length, ah, oh, some time. Let's go for a circuit, we'll go three laps. No, let's do it on our own. Let's just have a little test out of this thing. Let's see how the little Williams go. Go to race. Let's get this thing started. I can't wait to drive this. I think it ended up being 440 brake. Yeah, 440. This thing should be a little beast. Then front tires are just gonna light up. They really are. Right, so here we go. Let me hear this thing. This should sound an absolute beast. Oh, turbo letting up there. That's just as I remember mine. 
on the inside anyway. Oh yes! And then three gauges in the middle of the dash there. Mine, mine never seemed to work. Apparently a real common fault, but oh no. Let's do a standard start. Come on. Stop, 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 stop. Let's go on the outside. Let's actually have a look at this. There we go. Oh! Oh! No. Right. Oh yes, and we're getting the flames out of the exhaust there. Oh! And she's off! Oh, a bit sluggish. Oh! Let's get back on into that cockpit. Has this not got? Yeah, it has. I didn't think it had the helmet then, guys. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, I've got the back end out with a little wheel. Oh! Come on. That's it. This thing's going to be an absolute blast. Seems to oversteer my bad. Oh, I don't care. So here we go. It's that nearly 110 mile an hour thing. Oh yeah, and in the balloons you've got the blue box. Well, I'm sure in the middle of the center of the dash you've got what number production number it was. I mean, love these cars. If only I could buy another one now. There's not really many of them left. I think most of them have run away. I can't wait to race this in the driving cab. The trophy cab. Can we get 140? 140? 150? Oh! Late on the brakes. No, 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 no. Well, she definitely knows this a lot. I'm in heaven right now. Can we get it? Let's do a little cheeky handbrake turn. There we go. Come on, that first gizmo. We're going to have to do some two of them on this. But this is bringing me back to my youth. I'm not that old. Second, there we go. I'm still getting the grips of the wheel as well, but this is just it just brings a whole new level to the games. I don't want to ever go back to a controller. <laughs> Love it. There we go, speed. And break on! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, and the pops out of that exhaust. Absolutely brilliant. And the handbrake around the corner. Oh, no, it's the tires. This poor little car. It's not fair enough for uh, competing it up. I just got many nights. Killing mine. Anyway guys, let me know down below what your hot hatch favourite is, even if it's new or old, but I mean obviously this is my oh my god is it? this is my oh there's the wing mirror gone. Both wing mirrors gone. Anyway, this is my favourite car from the 90s or even owned I owned the valve, but I'll obviously drop the picture on. But let me know down below in the comments what your hot hatch, hot hatch favourite is. Alright, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch up with you next time guys.